What's going on Harry Potter fans? My name is Dawson Redden, I'm a proud Gryffindor, and welcome back to Fantastic Reddens and Where to Find Them. I hope you're all doing well. Today I thought we'd do something a little bit different, something a little fun, where I would sit down and show you guys all the different Harry Potter related items that I have either purchased or received as gifts from loved ones over the holidays and over the past few months that I haven't been able to sit down and make a dedicated video for. So I thought I'd gather all those items up and compile them into one video here to show you guys some of the things that I've added to my collection that you have not got to see yet. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video, Accio Intro. So if you're new here, once again, my name is Dawson Red, and I'm a proud Gryffindor, and we would love for you to become a part of our fantastic family. So hit the subscribe button down below for all Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts related content. If you're already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell, that way you're notified of any future videos that we post here on the channel. And now let's jump into those items that I've been talking about. So if you've been following the channel, you may have seen a video that I did talking about the new Harry Potter Secret Labs gaming chair that I received. One of the things that I ordered with that chair but got shipped later on afterwards because it was a pre-order was a Harry Potter lumbar pillow. Now Secret Labs had four different ones that you could choose from, one for each house, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff. You guys know that I am a Gryffindor, so that item that I got was the Gryffindor lumbar pillow. This thing is a great companion piece with the Secret Labs chair. I absolutely love it and I can't believe that I've owned a Secret Labs chair for I don't know how many years now um, and never purchased one of their lumbar pillows. This thing is made of a memory foam and it has a really nice soft fabric on the outside. It's really smushy and feels really good. As you can see, it's got some curvature to it. It starts really wide down at the bottom and it narrows as it gets further up. This pillow you can place anywhere on your back and lean against it and it's going to help with your lumbar support. If you have a spot that's achy or giving you some pain, this thing comes in handy. I absolutely love this. Not only does it feel amazing, but it looks amazing. We've got the Harry Potter theme here. We have the Gryffindor logo with the colored stripes down through here. It says Harry Potter on one side and Secret Labs on the other. This thing is just absolutely phenomenal. And even if you don't purchase a Secret Labs chair, you can purchase this separately. So if you have an office chair or you have a gaming chair and you don't want to purchase the Harry Potter chair behind me, you can still go out and get this pillow for honestly not a bad price. So I'll put links to Secret Labs down below to where you can get this pillow if you're interested in it. But just look at how amazing this is. And it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be once I received it. Now for some reason this pillow does get dirty. There is a zipper on the bottom that you can unzip and pull the pillow out and wash the outer cloth portion and get it nice and clean and put it back on. I think this is a fantastic item and worth every penny. So like I said, even if you don't want to purchase the chair or don't have plans on purchasing the chair, but you have a chair that you'd like a little bit of lumbar support and it be themed towards your house, you may check out getting one of these amazing lumbar pillows. Now these next two items are items that I had planned on getting all four of them at once, um, but I was having a little bit of trouble finding the first two. Now I have found them, but I just have not purchased them yet. But that is the Harry Potter Hallmark Keepsake Ornaments. So we have the 2020 version, which is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. These are really nice ornaments. This one is still in the box and I have not taken it out. These are highly collectible and if you can find the first two, they're going for quite a bit of money. The other one I purchased is of course the 2021 and that is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Now this one I have pulled out of the box and I will show you. They're very detailed and they're very nice, but they're also very, very breakable. The wand is super, super thin and you drop this thing and you are risking breaking the wand off of this. So I would suggest keeping these in the box if at all possible. Um, this one I have out on display on my Goblet of Fire shelf, um, but eventually it's probably going to go back in its box. But just look at the detail on this. And it is, of course, 3D. So Harry, the wand, 
the egg and part of that dragon there is sticking out and you see how thin that wand is and so I'm so scared that that could break. Now these are identical to the American edition book covers from the front to the back. They are absolutely stunning. So these particular items, I can't give you a real price or where to get them from, but I would check eBay and a couple other places if you're interested in trying to catch up on this collection before the new 2022 one releases this year. Now speaking of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, there are two other items that I have received that are related to that particular book and film. One of them you guys have seen because I purchased this a while back and I've never really done a video on it, but that is the Triwizard Cup. Now you can purchase this from Universal Studios um, on their website, you can also get it on Amazon, a couple different places, and it's really not bad priced. Now, originally I didn't wanna purchase this because I've been looking for the Noble Collection version, but it's only sold in UK, and I think they're pretty hard to come by now. So, as of right now, as a placeholder, until I can get that version, um, this one will have to do. Now, this is not a fancy, fancy piece by any means, but it definitely will do the job. Um, there is a lot that is lacking in this piece for sure, um, but it still looks good on your shelves. And another cool feature is that it lights up. So although it is not the Noble Collection Triwizard Cup, it's still a pretty nice piece to add to your shelves if you're looking for something. It's not too expensive and if you can't get your hands on the one from the UK. And with that said, if you know anyone that is selling the Noble Collection version or where I can get one, uh, comment down below and let me know or get a hold of me via my email uh, because I'm very interested in getting one for the bookshelf. Now the next Goblet of Fire item that I have for you is something that I received from my sister for Christmas. She got this for me and it's something that I've been wanting in my collection for a very long time. And that is the Harry Potter Golden Egg Replica from the Noble Collection. This thing is fabulous. So here is the outside of the box. You've got the Golden Egg along with the Mermaid in the stained glass mirror. It says Harry Potter Golden Egg, the Noble Collection. And then on the side you have another picture of the egg. On the back you have a picture of that stained glass window and then once again on the other side that same picture of the golden egg. Now this says here that this egg stands 9.25 inches tall and is 5.75 inches wide. Now I already have this out of the box so I will show it to you here. This thing is beautiful and it actually has some really good weight to it. It's really well done painted gold it has all these different colors in it um, some reds some blues and you can see the hogwarts school kind of engraved and painted on the egg now on top you have the part that opens up where you can grab and twist the owl and then it would open the egg now, unfortunately, this egg does not open. So, Noble Collection, hear me out and hear out all the other fans. Please make another version of this that actually opens up. That would be so amazing if you could open it up and the inside had like some type of glowing effect or something. I think that would be really, really sharp. But nonetheless, this is a beautiful display piece for your shelves and it even comes with a stand. So all you have to do is set your stand down and set your egg on top and voila. Now you have a beautiful piece for your shelves. I can't think of a cooler piece for your Harry Potter and Goblet of Fire shelf than this golden egg. It just is absolutely stunning. It actually brought tears to my eyes when my sister gave me this on Christmas morning. Um, I was not expecting it because this is one of the pieces that I have been looking forward to adding to my collection for such a very, very long time. So the next item I already have hung up, so I'm not gonna take it down, but I will slap a photo right here of it. And that is the Noble Collection Mirror of Erised. Now I do wanna get the full size version. I believe it's from Pottery Barn Teen, but until then, this is a beautiful piece 
that is hanging on my wall right now and I absolutely love it. This was one of the gifts from my wife on Christmas. This thing has a lot of weight to it and it feels like a really, really nice piece and it looks just absolutely fantastic. So I started kind of this collage wall of different photos and wands and wand displays and this just kind of breaks up all of that really nicely and it looks absolutely beautiful and I absolutely love this piece. So once again, all the Noble Collection items that I'm talking about, I will leave links down below if you are interested in checking them out. Now up next is another piece by the Noble Collection. One of the reasons why I haven't done like a dedicated video for each one of these is because these are items that I opened up on Christmas Day and these particular items they don't really have any type of fancy box. It's just a brown box with styrofoam inside and the item is in there. So this piece is the Prophecy. So what a beautiful piece here. So this is from Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. This is the Prophecy that they are going after and it just looks so good. It's got this nice big wooden stand with the three golden dragons setting on top and then the prophecy just sets down right on top. It's a really heavy piece. The prophecy itself is so heavy um, and so beautiful. It just looks super good. And then you have the little tag that hangs here and the tag says SPT2 APWBD Dark Lord and question mark Harry Potter. So I have a Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix shelf that this item sets on and uh, is displayed beautifully on that shelf. And what a great piece by the Noble Collection. Another item that I've wanted to add to the collection for a very long time, uh, but just haven't done so. And so when my wife surprised me with this, I was super excited and it looks great on the shelves. Up next, we have some Funko Pops. These are the 20th anniversary Funko Pops. I did receive quite a few different Funko Pops uh, over the Christmas holidays from friends and family members, some of which are up on a wall that I'm looking at right now. I got a Snape, Voldemort, um, a Harry Potter with the invisibility cloak, and a Dumbledore. Um, but I also received four other Funkos, and these are the 20th anniversary Funko Pops. And I have a few others that are still like on a pre-order that I believe are going to be coming. Um, so I was going to do like a full video on all those Funko Pops together, but I'm not sure when those are actually going to ship or when I'm going to receive them. So I figured I'd throw them in here into this video. So the first one is Mr. Ronald Weasley. This is Funko Pop 134, and it is him wrapped in the devil's snare now these I have no intentions of taking out of the box there are certain Funko Pops that I will take out and display up on a mantle and then there are some that I leave in the box super cool nice piece was super excited to add these to my collection up next we have Hermione Granger with her wand this is Funko Pop 133 I used to not be into Funko Pops or collecting Funko Pops, but here recently I've gotten pretty into it um, and I can see where it can become quite addictive, especially because there's a lot of Funkos out there that are exclusive or you can only get at certain events. And so you've got to find someone that can pick one of those up for you or be invited to one of those events or you're gonna pay big money online from someone who gets it and then turns around and sells it for a really high price. Now this next one I have in a protective like Funko Pop sleeve. One of the other ones that I received that I was gonna take out um, was in this sleeve. So I put it on this one because this one I'd have no plans of taking out of the box. And that is Mr. Harry Potter himself with the Philosopher's Stone. He's kind of all bloodied up. He has some scratches on his face and on his hands. Uh, if you look inside, you can see he's got the uh, Sorcerer's Stone in his hand. He's got on his uh, sweater there. This is a really fun Funko Pop. Really like it. So these are the three Funkos from the 20th anniversary. 132, 133, and 134. 
Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Now I did receive another Funko and this is a Funko Pop Deluxe. This is a Funko exclusive and this is Harry Potter with the Hogwarts letters. Another one that I will not be taking out of the box. Um, if you follow Harry Potter, you follow Funko, you've probably seen pictures and videos of all four of these out of the box. But this one is super cool. It's Harry catching all the letters flying out of the fireplace. An iconic scene and what a cool piece to represent Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and the 20 years of movie magic. This is a really nice Funko Pop. So I have a few items left. Uh, one of the things that I actually have received but I haven't done a video on, I'm actually going to save it for a video, is I received the Nerdy Ink Dust Jackets for the Harry Potter American Edition books. I ordered a set online on eBay. Um, unfortunately, I had to return those to get my money back because they were not what was described um, on the listing. And the pictures that were used were totally different photos than what I received. Um, part of them were not even the American edition. Um, so the dust jackets wouldn't have fit. And a lot of them had water damage and all kinds of issues. If you follow me over on Instagram, you probably heard uh, me talk about it over on one of my stories. I have some other books on the way. So once I receive those, I'll be doing a full video on those dust jackets if you're interested in checking that out. Uh, so that should be coming fairly soon. But speaking of books, I have picked up and received some books over the holidays. And so I'm gonna end the video with these books. Um, and that should get us caught up on most of the items that I have been picking up here recently um, that you haven't been able to see yet. So the three books I have here are illustrated by Jim K. You've probably seen these a thousand times, but I've yet to add them to my collection. So when my wife's grandmother got them for me for Christmas, I was super excited. I've had the first one for quite some time, but I just had yet to pick up the other three. So first off, we have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Once again, these were illustrated by Jim K. And they are absolutely stunning. Um, he's got some just amazing artwork in here. If you haven't checked these books out or you haven't purchased them for your collection, I would highly recommend doing so. You can pick them up usually at Walmart or Barnes & Noble, uh, Books A Million, or you can grab them online. They're fantastic. So Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Up next we have Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I really love this one. Uh, I love the illustration of the night bus and Harry. Uh, check this out. I'm a huge fan of just purple in general, so this book cover just pops for me. Every time I see this cover, I'm just like, oh my goodness, I love it. This is such a beautiful book cover. Here is the spine, and then here is the back of the book. Just super beautiful, beautiful artwork, and the books on the inside are just full of tons of art. We could be here all day doing a flip through, but there are plenty of other videos that have shown flip throughs of these books. Now, when the new one is released, I will more than likely do a flip through um, or a look-see at that book when it comes out. So I believe we're supposed to be maybe getting that book this year, fingers crossed, we will see. Um, but here we go, here is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Such beautiful artwork, love it. These are too good. I think she ordered these online from uh, Amazon, I do believe. Uh, I received all four of these, like I said, from my wife's grandmother, so thank you to her for adding these to my book collection. So the next and final item in this kind of haul video is a gift that I received from my wife. For Christmas this was a unexpected gift a huge gift something that just completely blew my mind my wife surprises me and amazes me every day um, and I've been looking at this book that the Potter collector was selling uh, every once in a while he does these rare book sales where he sells off some books um, that are his or he's selling off maybe for a few friends and they're rare books that are, you know, a little bit on the pricey side. 
Now, this book in particular, I had been looking at and it wasn't selling. And so I kept checking back, kept checking back. I was gonna buy it, but we do have a trip coming up to Universal. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna hold off. I'm not gonna purchase this item because I'm gonna save that money for that trip. I'm just gonna hold off. The holidays are coming up, etc. cetera. Um, and on Christmas morning, my wife surprised me. Uh, I had a package, I opened it up, and surprise, surprise, she had snuck around my back, got a hold of Peter, and got the book for me. And that is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. This is a first printing, second state, UK edition. Check this out. It is dang near flawless. There is honestly hardly anything wrong with this. There's a little spot here that's almost where it's like been cut or something. It's not even broke all the way through. It's just a little nick. Um, but literally, that is it. This book is fantastic. It is in the best shape. And like I said, this is a first printing. And these are hard to come by. You can find them, but they're a little on the pricey side. And I've been wanting to start my first printing UK set for some time now and so I've officially started it so this year 2022 my goal is to finish my first printing UK set by the end of the year so I have a plan to do that I have a goal to do that and I'm gonna do <laughs> the best I can to make sure that I reach that goal but like I said this is absolutely flawless never been read if I open it up here, I will show you the beautiful 10 to 1 number line right here. And as you can see, first published in Great Britain in 1999, Bloomsbury Publishing. And we know it's a first printing because of that 10 to 1 number line. This book is super flawless. Absolutely stunning. And I can't thank my wife enough for doing this for me. It literally brought tears to my eyes. Um, I was gonna do a dedicated video on this, but I figured I'll throw it into this video uh, because there's not a whole lot to say about this book other than I now own it and it's gorgeous. And so I'm super excited to have this, I'm super excited to start this new journey in collecting this particular set of books. It's gonna be so much fun and I can't wait to finish it. So that wraps up everything that I have either received from friends and family members or purchased on my own over the last few months and over the holidays that I just haven't had a chance to sit down and film a dedicated video for. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've seen some items that may have piqued your interest and you wanna to add to your collection. If there's anything that I know for sure that I've got links to that you can go and check these items out for yourself and get prices and see if you want to add them to your collection, I'll put those links down below. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you're all doing well. Like I said, me and my family have a trip coming up very, very soon to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Now, if you're watching this video and you've stayed till the end, thank you. You're the reason why I do these videos. I would like for you to comment down below and let me know what type of videos you'd like for me to film while I'm at the Wizarding World. Do you want vloggy style videos? Do you want some Q&A stuff? Do you want um, some like butterbeer tastings? Let me know what type of things you would like to see down below because I'm going to be trying to make as many videos as I can while I'm at the parks. It's going to be a ton of fun and I can't wait to share those videos with you guys and so I want you to be able to be involved so if you could let me know what you want to see that would be greatly appreciated. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend or a wonderful week depending on when you're watching this and remember if you're new here hit the subscribe button that way you can become a part of our fantastic family and if you're already subscribed hit the notification bell that way you're notified of any future videos that we post here on the channel. I will talk to you guys again very soon. Knox. Doesn't quite understand me. Know what I mean?